Welcome to the Screenwriting Made Easy walkthrough video. This video shows how typing a script in Movie Magic Screenwriter 6 is as easy as pressing tab and enter. You'll see how to write in screenplay format, use keyboard shortcuts to speed writing, and let Screenwriter automatically break dialogue across pages. Let's start with a brand new blank page. The only special keys you need to know are tab and enter, or tab and return for you Mac folk. Press enter. Screenwriter asks if you want to add a fade in at the top of your script. You may press Y for yes or N for no. Press Y. The phrase fade in is automatically inserted. The first element in your script is a scene heading. A scene heading describes the setting in which a segment of your script takes place and consists of three parts. The first part of the scene heading designates what type of scene it is, interior or exterior. Type I for interior and INT period is entered automatically. The second part of the scene heading designates the setting. This story starts off in an office, so type office. Notice that Screenwriter automatically capitalizes the scene heading. Hit enter. The last part of the scene heading designates the time of day day, night, morning, evening, etc. Press D and day is automatically added to the scene heading. We find ourselves on a new blank line of action, otherwise known as scene description. Action is used to describe what happens in a scene. Rasputin sits at his desk typing. Commander Fred wanders in. Notice that I've capitalized both Rasputin and Commander Fred's names. It is customary to write their names in all caps in the action when they are first introduced. Let's add some dialogue now. Every character's dialogue is preceded by the speaking character's name. Press Tab to move to the character name indent. Type the character's name, Rasputin. Notice that Screenwriter automatically capitalizes the name. Press Enter. We are now in the dialogue margins. Dialogue is indented and falls directly under the character's name. Hi, Fred. We want Commander Fred to respond, so press Tab to move to the character name element. Commander Fred. Press Enter. We're back in dialog margins. Fred says, Howdy. Press Tab. I want Rasputin to speak again. Type R, and notice that screenwriter pops up and selects Rasputin's name. Hit Enter. His name is inserted and we're back in dialogue margins. This is a huge time saver. Rasputin says, what's up? Screenwriter has another shortcut to enter character names quickly when they talk back and forth. Instead of hitting tab to go to the character name margin, press shift tab. Commander Fred's name is inserted and we find ourselves back in dialogue margins. Fred says, not much, you? I want to add some action description now. Press Enter and we're in the action margins. Fred pulls up a chair. Press Shift Tab to insert Rasputin's name. We're now in dialog margins, but I want to add a parenthetical direction. Parentheticals indicate how the character speaks. Type the left parenthesis character by pressing Shift and the number 9. Screenwriter puts you into the parenthetical margin and places the cursor between left and right parentheses. Type weary. Press enter and we're back in dialog margins. Let's add Rasputin's dialog. You know, the regular filling out reports, surfing the net, killing time. Press enter. Let's insert a different scene heading. We want this new scene to be on the outside of the office. Press Enter again, press E for Exterior, press Enter to select Office, press D for Day. Let's add some action. The sky grows ominously dark. Commander Fred is going to speak again, so we could press Shift-Tab, but he's not in the scene, so whatever he says will have to be done as a voiceover. Press Tab to go to the character name margins. Press C for Commander Fred. Commander Fred's name is selected, so it will be inserted. But I want to indicate that his dialogue is done as a voiceover, so instead of pressing Enter,
press the left parentheses or Shift 9. We are presented with a list of character name extension options. Press V for voiceover. The character name extension, V period O period, is placed within parentheses after Commander Fred's name. We are in dialog margins. It looks nasty outside. Press Enter twice. Press T for transition. We are presented with a list of standard transitions. Type C for cut to. The transition appears on the right side of the page. Press I for interior. Press Enter for the already selected office setting. Press D for day. Now we're back inside the office. Let's add the following action description. Fred peers out the window. Press Tab and then C for Commander Fred, then Enter. Think it'll rain? Press Shift Tab. Rasputin says, Probably. Press Shift Tab. Fred says, We need it. Press Enter and type the action, Rasputin stops typing and turns. Press Shift Tab. Rasputin says, Commander, what's this about? You never come in here without an agenda. We're not best friends. Heck, I hardly see you outside the office. So what gives? Notice that the dialog landed on a page break. Screenwriter automatically breaks the dialog at the end of a sentence, adds more at the bottom of the page, copies the character name with the abbreviated continued extension, and reformats the remainder of the dialog properly. This is one of the most valuable features in Movie Magic Screenwriter. A typical screenplay is between 90 and 120 pages. That equates to about 90 to 120 page breaks. Most breaks fall on blank lines, but when they don't, Screenwriter knows what to do, automatically. Since screenwriting is mostly about rewriting, Screenwriter knows what to do when you edit your screenplay. That's it for the mini lesson in screenwriting using Movie Magic Screenwriter 6. Tab and Enter. It's that easy.